Hello again everyone, it's me Keith. Now welcome to another tutorial. Basically, we are going to continue with uh, Google Sheets. Okay, so we are going to continue where we have left off. Be sure that you have watched the previous video about the basic point of sale. So we are going to create a basic inventory out of this. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out our previous exercise, which is this one. This is the basic point of sale. So first is we are going to insert two columns over here so I'm just going to right click on this column right here click on insert one column left and right click again insert one column right there you go now the next thing that we are going to do is I think I'm just going to remove this column right here or hide it there you go so that you will be able to see everything I'm going to change the color of these uh, fields right here or field heading to something like yellow will do okay so when we say inventory it's like um, a part of a system from which it computes or it calculates the number of stocks on hand versus the remaining stock so it's like um, knowing how much products you have left on hand versus the products that you have sold okay so this is how it's going to look like so first we need to name the, this heading right here as uh, stocks on hand and this area will be remaining stocks this time we're going to create a simple formula for this so when we say uh, formula we are only going to create a formula for the remaining stocks and not on the stocks on hand because the stocks on hand area will be done through user input okay so um, to get the remaining stocks, it's like the stocks on hand deducted by the quantity of items being sold. Okay, something like that. So let's say, for example, on my fried chicken, I have 600 stocks on hand. Okay, so for this, I think we need to change the formatting again because I have formatted all of it as a currency. I'm just going to highlight these areas right here click on more formats then I'm just going to choose number if you wish to remove the decimals you can just click on this icon right here it's called decrease decimal places okay just two clicks and there you go so for the rice I think maybe 1000 soft drinks around 700 spaghetti maybe 650 okay. now uh, to compute for the remaining stocks all you need to do is of course you're going to start with an equal sign then Google Sheets will provide you with a suggestion okay so since this is this this already has an artificial intelligence feature so it provides you a suggestion that uh, in order to get the remaining stocks you're going to deduct the quantity from the stocks on hand so you can copy that one or you can just press tab on your keyboard oops sorry equals then tab there you go so the remaining stocks will be uh, negative 593 now for this one I think there's a problem with our uh, what they call this formula so we are not going to follow the formula given by Google but instead we can just do it by ourselves so just click on the stocks on hand minus the quantity okay there you go so that's 593 now if you want to use the autofill suggestion you can just click on the check icon right here then it will provide you and it will populate the automated suggestion for the formula okay now um, with this so for example if I'm going to purchase um, more chicken let's say around 700 automatically the remaining stocks will change okay so how are we going to make it more efficient and effective we are going to use a conditional formatting method or conditional formatting method now using the conditional formatting method it's like Excel is going to provide you a warning if the remaining stocks has reached a warning level or a critical level so for example of course you don't want your fried chicken to be to reach to the point that it is already zero it's so to do that first you're going to highlight the areas which will be included for the critical level warning click format 
choose conditional formatting. Now I've already highlighted this area right here. So it's not empty. Oh, I'm going to change this one to something like uh, less than or equal to. So around 100. So if it reaches 100 or less, then there should have a color change. So it's like it's going to provide you a warning that you need to replenish this type of item. Okay, there you go. So click on save. Now, um, let's try if this one is working. Actually, it's already working, guys. So if ever I'm going to change or someone is going to order around um, the stocks on hand for rice is 1,000. So if ever I'm going to order around 990. Okay, so there you go. So it's like the remaining stocks will provide you a warning that, oh, you need to replenish your stocks for uh the rice it's because it's almost out okay so that is how you are going to create a simple inventory in google sheets okay so we are going to continue with this one next up we are going to hit it on a another level we are going to hit it a notch okay so for the intermediate part of google sheets okay so that's it and subscribe for more bye for now